Welcome, everyone. I'm so glad you could join us yet again as we go to make more cultural discoveries. Let's not waste any time. Let's go. Ireland is an island in the Atlantic Ocean off the coast of continental Europe. It is the third largest island in Europe and the 20th largest island on Earth. To the east is the island of Great Britain, which is separated by the Irish Sea and the North Channel. Politically, Ireland is divided between the Republic of Ireland, which covers most of the island, and Northern Ireland, which is a part of the United Kingdom and covers the remaining northeastern part of the island. The total population of Ireland is approximately 6.4 million people, most of which live in the Republic of Ireland. Prehistoric Ireland saw the arrival of humans after 8000 BCE. Gaelic Ireland then emerged in the first millennium and lasted until the early 17th century. The island was introduced to Christianity in the 5th century, and following the Norman invasion in the 12th century, England began claiming sovereignty over Ireland. In the 1690s, a system of Protestant English rule was designed by Britain to discriminate against the Catholic majority and other minor faiths. This continued well into the 18th century. In 1801, Ireland officially became part of the United Kingdom. A war of independence broke out in the early 20th century, and it resulted in the division of the island and the establishment of the Irish Free State, while Northern Ireland remained a part of the United Kingdom. Northern Ireland saw much civil unrest from the late 1960s until 1998. In 1973, both parts of Ireland joined the European Economic Community. Despite experiencing a strong influence from Western culture over the years, Ireland has maintained its own unique cultural identity through music, tradition, and language. It has also influenced the rest of the world in fields such as literature, education, and science.
road to Lisdoon Verna Winds away, we'll often turn you round the bends that fall away To the fields for practice lay Some might trace the cliffs of Mar On the road to Lisdoon Verna Grappling with the gusts that soar Man and nature are bleeding war Past the lorries that travel slow Overflowing with heavy loads Press the pedal down to the floor Up the centre of frightful roar Is it directions that you need? A friendly face will short concede Any particulars you may know Set you right away you go Beware the clouds a wise man set On the road to his Verna If they bow their blackened heads it's tumble and buckets of sulky dread The road to Lisdoon Verna Dance and pair upon the square You made a stone and on display Fiddle and drum accompany Make your way to the nearest pub Maneuvering through an unruly mob All at once on your rear a tug Up for a kiss and a crowd and stuff Silk and white is a mighty cure When underneath is dark and pure Join the ruckus and call a pint No need for anywhere else
where the sun barely shines, bracken grows ever creeping out along island hills, myrtle green sweeping, new and so ever be roots are marching forth as soldiers pushing forth to conquer deep, ceaseless in their wonder. Swing the blade, light the fire, oh that sweat is rolling, cutting bracken, cutting bracken, madness is unfolding. Bracken beer is dark and noble, some do take a notion, cutting bracken, cutting bracken, menace turn to potion. started the Victoria School of Irish Dance in 1996. I started teaching lessons with probably about five students and since then now I have about 60 students. <laughs> It's from our knees down. So we do a lot of work with our ankles and our feet.
right, so it's um, competitive Irish dancing. We do recreational as well. And um, we dance in national and world competitions. Last year and this year, I, I've had dancers going to the World Irish Dance Championships. This is very exciting for us. And um, we're also going to the North American Irish Dance Championships this July as well. And we, we've gone the last few years also. Uh, regularly, we attend competitions in Vancouver, Seattle, Alberta, all over North America. Um, so competitive Irish dancing is, is very widespread. Miss Olivia Buckingham, who worked many, many years in the Butchard Gardens, will celebrate her 102nd birthday. Before we ask some questions, let's watch a short video we made five years ago. When did you start to work here in the Butchard Garden? I started to work here when um, um, the war was over. Mm -hmm. And Mr. Ross came back, I and see. he was our boss. Uh, Mr. Ross and myself would plan things together, and he used to say, "Now, I I I was always on the run, you know." Mm -hmm. And so he's, "You don't have to run, <laughs> you know. Take it easy." the newspaper and their pictures and then I bind them up and make them into a scrapbook. I like to listen to the music that has <laughs> most memorable of my life. There's so many I can't tell the which one. I go to the bank and I go to the store and get some candy. And the candy's good. I was, just the other day, it was pouring rain and I went out to get some candy and it was, ooh, it was good. We're all wishing you a happy birthday, Olivia. To conclude our program, we'd like to share with you a cultural highlight straight from Ireland. I hope you enjoy it.
Thank you so much for joining us today. I hope you learned some new things about our Irish community and had a great time. I'll see you next time.